and welcome back to my shop. down here where my parking brake uh, foot control goes through the floorboard there are some pieces that's uh, worn away and are totally gone and it's left a big hole here and I'm going to show you here real quick but uh, that's what we're going to do now we're going to plug that hole and uh, see if we can't uh, get that winter hawk from nipping at us when we're out here cruising because we do cruise this thing in the winter so anyway, stay tuned and let's get busy. All right, right here's what I'm talking about. You see where the lever goes down through the floorboard where there's a, there's supposed to be a rubber uh, boot that installs in there and a trim ring to uh, keep it taut against the floor. You can see there's two holes here. It's supposed to be one up here somewhere. I don't see it. I may have to drill it. But that's missing. <clears throat> it's long gone. So we're going to uh, we're going to install this new aftermarket uh, piece I've got. And to do it, we've got to remove the pedal here and disconnect the arm here. All right. Disconnect the arm and remove the pedal so we can slide it down the shaft into there. So anyway, that may prove to be fun. Let's get busy. All right. Here's the boot. All right. And there's the plate. And I even ordered, why not, the new screws to go in it, even though I've got these machine-type screws here. I went ahead and ordered them while I was at it. I may deal with some of these pads. These pads here are for the other pedals that go through, but they may be more of a pain than I want to tackle now. So, uh, anyway, this is what we're doing. So, let's do it. I don't know when's the last time these have been off, so it's, they may have been off since new. Oh, that broke loose easy. That's 9 sixteenths. Washer. <laughs> My lock washers keep going down. Alright. Alright, we need a 916th, I believe, for that, don't we? Yeah. going to click him okay that's bent right there I may have to straighten that up a little bit let's do that
he's, he's not going to bend. Okay. Let's see what we got here. And you might be saying, why don't I do it like this? Well, you see the plate here? That doesn't go through there, okay? So, that's why. down and he'll go down like that but I'm gonna have to drill a hole for him okay so let me go get my drilling bit and I'll be right back all right actually when I ran the drill down through it I found the hole it was there so we're good to go all right now we're gonna put these on these are the store-bought screws. Hope everything lines up. go all right and you can I'll show you a close-up how it fits around the uh, the cab uh, bolt up here and the uh, firewall there all right well let's get this all back together
contrary. Okay. And the castle nut. One of the one of the lock nuts didn't come off. Change over to a half inch. The acorn nut and the bolt are nine sixteenths. The two nuts and bolts that uh, bolt up the uh, pedal are half inch. Okay, and we'll put them back, the shiny side, back towards the uh, washer. Okay. And we got one more bolt. Summers. Well, we'll secure him. Then we'll go find up. All right, here's a close-up of the install. You can see how it, uh, how it's, uh, how it's formed to fit around the uh, cab, the front cab bolt, and you can see how it's formed to go around the front of the uh, firewall where the uh, floor pan meets the firewall. Okay, so we got three screws holding it. It does slam it pretty hard. I guess we'll see how long it lasts but the one that was in there was totally gone so we got the boot underneath it then we got this uh plate up top so anyway we ought to be good to go and if you're new to uh stove bolt in uh trucks uh with the stock brake setup this here is the access to your master cylinder right there okay so uh uh, this is an aftermarket the plate that I had the metal plate Rusted away and gone and this is an aftermarket. And it's pretty much rubber with some metal backing in it But it works good Last a long time. Okay, there you go. And you can see I had to put a new Inspection pan in there, too. So anyway, we're good to go there Now got a couple little holes here and there But this pneumonia hole here ought to keep my left foot a lot warmer Come winter time cruising. All right. I've got the pads to replace in here and here, but you can't just take the, the pedals off. <laughs> you actually have to uh, uh, take disconnect it on the outside and do it. And I'm just not going to get to that today. I just greased them up here. That's lithium grease to smooth them up going through. And we'll worry about that another time. So anyway, let's get this, uh, let's get my pad put back down here. Let's see if I can do this one-handed like the professionals do. All right. All right, we work around our throttle pedal. Work around our brake. All right. There we go. And we're good to go again. All right. All right, I'm going to show you how it works now. It locks up, and you'll see how he slams it when he when he opens. You see, he does he does come back with some power. All right. There we go. Well, all right, that was a quick, easy fix. 
Let me see. The uh, parts book calls that a parking brake lever boot and a parking brake lever boot retainer and of course the screws that goes to it. And uh, uh, I, that's, this is a 49 so I'm going to guess most of your stove bolt error 47 through 55.1 are going to be real similar unless they change the uh, parking brake setup which I'm not real sure if they did or not. If they did, well it's a different part. But uh, I didn't take a close up but there was a big gaping hole there and that was going to be a lot of cold air coming up at me come this winter. Now that wasn't there uh, that I could remember last winter. So uh, seems like that has failed and dropped away sometime this summer in my cruising. So anyway, one less, uh, one less hole to worry about. So anyway, quick and easy, uh, maybe half an hour. Uh, what, 9 16 half inch Phillips screwdriver, and that's all it took. So anyway. So, I hope everything's going good with you and yours. Everything's going good here. Can't complain. Won't do me no good to complain anyway. Just carry on and take care of that business. So, have a good one, and I hope to see you around on the next one. See ya.